for his conviction on charges that he lied to Chicago police when the former Empire actor, an R&B singer reported being the victim of a racist and homophobic attack more than three years ago. Jesse Smollett was sentenced to 150 days in prison as well as restitution and a fine. Smollett's case was tried both in a real court and in the court of public opinion during the last three years. And after a few false starts, many witnesses and an unsuccessful request for a new trial, Jesse was found guilty on five charges of disorderly conduct for lying to police. Hi, welcome to You Wanna Watch. And in this video, we're going to talk about Jesse Smollett's timeline from his arrest to jail time. January 2019, at the Chicago studio where Empire is filmed, Jesse Smollett receives a racist and homophobic threat letter. Jesse is believed to have written the letter himself according to police. Jesse Smollett tells police he was attacked by two men in downtown Chicago at 2 a.m. The actor says the men used racist and homophobic slurs, wrapped a rope around his neck and poured an unknown substance on him. Police say Jesse, who is black and gay, told detectives the attackers also yelled he was in MAGA country. An apparent reference to President Donald Trump's Make America Great Again campaign slogan that some Trump critics call racist and discriminatory. Police in Chicago said they've gone over hundreds of hours of security footage, including film of Jesse traveling throughout the city, but none of it indicates the attack. Police get photos of two people they wish to question and disseminate them as persons of interest. Some politicians and celebrities have expressed their concern and support for Jesse Smollett following reports of an assault on him on social media. Jesse's family issues a statement calling the attack a hate crime and disputing claims that he changed his story. February 2019, Jesse Smollett issues a statement saying he's okay, that he's working with authorities, and has been 100% factual and consistent on every level. Jesse opens a concert in West Hollywood, California with an emotional speech, saying he had to play the show because he couldn't let his attackers win. Chicago police pick up two brothers at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport after police learned at least one worked on Empire. Police question the men, who were returning to Chicago from Nigeria, and search their apartment. Chicago police release the brothers without charges after arresting them on suspicion of assault and holding them for nearly 48 hours. A police spokesman says they're no longer suspects. After questioning the brothers, police claim the case has changed and have requested a follow-up interview with Jesse Smollett. According to his attorneys, he feels victimized by accusations that he was involved in the assault. Chicago police reach out to Jesse's attorney saying they still want to interview him again because new information has shifted their investigation. Cook County State's attorney Kim Fox, Chicago's top prosecutor, has recused herself from the inquiry. The decision was made out of an abundance of caution to address potential issues of impartiality based on familiarity with potential witnesses in the case according to her office. Prosecutors charged Jesse Smollett with disorderly conduct for filing a false police report about the alleged attack. According to Chicago police, Jesse Smollett has surrendered to face a felony charge of disorderly conduct, which carries a maximum sentence of three years in prison. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson claims Jesse faked the incident to get attention because he was unhappy with his salary. Jesse Smollett allegedly paid the two brothers $3,500 to assist him according to investigators. Empire producers say Smollett's character will be removed from the final two episodes of the season. March 2019 a Cook County grand jury returns a 16-count indictment charging Smollett with falsely reporting an offense. Jesse's attorneys say charges alleging he lied to police have been dropped. According to a municipal official, Chicago is suing Jesse Smollett for $130,000 to cover the costs of the investigation into his alleged assault which police claim was manufactured. April 2019 the city of Chicago files a lawsuit seeking to recoup the investigation costs in response to open records requests. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office publishes thousands of papers in the Jesse Smollett case, including a text from Fox calling Smollett a washed-up star who was overcharged. 
The brothers, who said they helped Jesse stage the attack, file a defamation lawsuit against the actor's attorneys. June 2019. Jesse Smollett will not be returning to Empire. There it is. Confirmation from Empire co-creator Lee Daniels that Jesse Smollett will definitely not feature in the show's final season. Chicago police release footage taken about seven hours after the alleged attack taken from a police officer's body cam in Jesse Smollett's apartment. It shows the actor with a rope still around his neck. The footage is part of hundreds of files released by Chicago police from their investigation into the case. Another video appears to show Abel and Ola Osendero in a cab on the night the police were called. August 2019, Judge names former U.S. Attorney Dan Webb a special prosecutor to investigate why charges against Jesse Smollett were dropped. February 2020, former U.S. Attorney Dan Webb says grand jury returns six-count indictment against Jesse accusing him of lying to police. Jesse pleads not guilty to restored charges. November 2021, authorities claim that Jesse Smollett paid the Osendero brothers to carry out the attack in order to advance his career because he was dissatisfied with his salary on Empire based on the first day of his trial. According to Special Prosecutor Dan Webb, the actor planned a hidden scheme to make it appear like he was the victim of a hate crime perpetrated by Trump supporters. During the trial, Jesse Smollett claimed that the check was for a food and training plan from Abel, with whom he claims he had a sexual relationship prior to the alleged attack. Jesse Smollett repeatedly denies in court that he had been involved in a hoax and says he did not call the police. Jesse says, as a black man in America, I don't trust the police. I'm sorry. December 2021, one day after deliberations begin, a jury of six men and six women reaches a conclusion. Jesse Smollett is found guilty of five of the six counts of disorderly behavior with the sixth count pending in court. Each offense carries a potential prison sentence of up to three years. Experts predict a reduced sentence or probation for Jesse due to his lack of prior convictions. A date for sentencing has yet to be set. We are nearing the end of our video, but before we proceed, we would like to ask you to please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash you wanna watch 2022 and follow us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash you wanna watch. Okay, now back to the story. March 11th, 2022. Three years after the hoax attack in first police report, Jesse Smollett was sentenced to 150 days jail time and ordered to pay a fine of $145,000. His sentence also includes 30 months of probation. Throughout the trial, the actor always claimed he had been the victim of a crime. There is nothing that I can do here today that can come close to the damage you've already done to your own life, Judge James Lynn told Jesse during the sentencing and continue. You've turned your life upside down by your conduct and shenanigans. <laughs> March 16th, 2022. On Wednesday night, Jesse Smollett was freed from prison. An appeals court cleared the path for his release, ordering the actor's release from prison, awaiting a sentence appeal for lying to cops about a racial and homosexual attack. Jesse's lawyers contended that by the time the appeal process was concluded, he would have served his term and that if he stayed in the Cook County Jail, he would be in danger of bodily injury. March 17, 2022. In court, Judge James Lynn spent a lot of time addressing the defendant, saying that his case had received unprecedented attention, which he only sees in a murder case. On another occasion, the judge ridiculed Jesse Smollett's behavior, saying that he is just an emperor pretending to be a victim of a hate crime, and it's a shame. Judge James Lynn also described Jesse Smollett as very arrogant, egotistical, and narcissistic, adding that he had caused serious harm to hate crime victims. However, his sentence was not chosen to quell public outrage, but based on the response of Smollett leaders, testimonies, or the titans of social justice who sided with Jesse Smollett. During sentencing, Jesse Smollett's defense team reiterated its request to have his sentence overturned or the trial announced, based on a promise by the Cook County prosecutor to drop his original charges in 2019. 
Defense attorney Tina Glendon argued that re-prosecuting Jesse Smollett violated Jesse's rights and that there were several errors during the trial. The prosecution dismissed the defense team's claims as finger gestures and scapegoats. The prosecution also presented a statement from the Chicago Police Agency on the impact on victims, alleging that Jesse Smollett's false complaint cost the department money and time to solve crimes, as well as harming actual hate crime victims. Jesse Smollett's defense called numerous crucial witnesses to testify about Smollett's status as an actor and role model in the African-American community. Jesse Smollett's 92-year-old grandmother also spoke on his behalf citing his Jewish heritage because Jesse and his family focused on social justice. She addressed the judge directly, saying that if he was imprisoned, she should be sent to jail like her grandson as well. After his friends and brother's remarks, Jesse appeared to be sitting next to his lawyer, wiping away tears. Jesse's lawyer then reads letters from organizations such as Black Lives Matter. The Innocence Project and Rainbow Push, as well as from famous and influential people such as Reverend Jesse Jackson, actor Samuel L. Jackson, and actress Alfre Woodard. The letters spoke about Jesse Smollett's character and asked the judge to grant him probation instead of jail time. What do you think about this timeline? Did we miss anything that you think should have been included? Let us know your thoughts by writing a comment on this video. If you're interested in our other videos, just hover over the videos and just press play. Until next time watchers, thank you for watching our video.